Hi, my name is Angus Robinson from the Anritsu Company. I've come to my local park today to show you how you can use the Anritsu MS2080A Fieldmaster Spectrum Analyzer with a directional antenna to geolocate interfering transmitters over a wide area. You've probably seen in wildlife documentaries people using directional antennas to find uh, tigers and lions in national parks. Well here we don't have lions and tigers but we do have some deer and so that's just adding to a little bit to the atmosphere. A colleague of mine has secreted away a 450 megahertz LMR transmitter and I'm going to connect up this antenna, this directional antenna to the spectrum analyzer and see if we can find it. So what we're looking at now is the interference hunting mode in the RTSA and we can clearly see the signal that we're trying to locate in the centre of the display. I'm doing a channel power measurement on that signal and as I move the antenna around in direction we can see that the signal level changes positively and negatively depending upon whether I'm pointing towards the transmitter or not. The audio tone also gives us an indication as to whether the signal strength is increasing or decreasing depending upon whether I'm pointing the antenna in the right direction. What I'm going to do now is transition from the standard interference hunting mode to the interference mapper mode. In the interference mapping mode we get a map at the top of the screen here and the direction of that green line is the direction in which I'm pointing the antenna. So we can look to see in which direction we're getting the maximum signal and when we're in the direction of the maximum signal if I pull the trigger on the handle it drops a line in that direction and we know that the transmitter we're searching for is somewhere in the, along the red line that we've dropped. We've now moved to a different location in the park. This is where we were previously with the line that we made for best signal strength. I'm now in a different location and we're repeating the process looking to see in which direction the signal is strongest. And we can see that it's roughly in this direction here. If I keep rotating around, the signal drops off again. So the signal seems to be strongest in here. So if I pull the trigger again, it looks like the transmitter we're trying to locate is roughly where these two lines intersect. I've now moved to the location in the park where those two red lines intersected because we know that the transmitter we're looking for must be very close to the point of intersection, which is where I am now. So all I need to do is look on the screen of the spectrum analyzer and monitor the level of the signal as I sweep the direction finding antenna in an arc. And I can see in which direction the signal is strongest, so I need to move in that direction and I should quickly find the location of the transmitter we're looking for. I'm walking in the direction that I'm seeing the maximum signal in and as I move in this direction I can see the signal strength increasing so I'm clearly moving towards the transmitter that we're searching for. I'm sure we're getting very close to the transmitter now, the signal strength is very high. Just a quick sweep to try and find the final location. We're right at the top of the screen now. I'm very confident the transmitter is being held inside this tree trunk here. And there it is. I hope you found that interesting. What we've just done there to recap is we use the triangulation in the interference hunting option to find the approximate location in the park of the transmitter we were trying to find. Then we moved to that location and sweeping with the directional antenna we were able to pinpoint the location of the transmitter we were looking for. I hope you see how easy it is to use the 2080 to find illegal or illicit transmissions and to hunt them down and that gives you the opportunity to close down those transmissions.
Thank you for your time today. I hope you enjoyed the video. We've had a lot of fun making it.